Hi, I'm Jennifer Angel and this is my weekly message. Now there's a few planetary moves coming up this week. Um, on the 21st we have Mars moves into uh, Gemini. Now Gemini is a thinking sign. You know, if you ever want to know anything about anything, ask a Gemini. They may not know uh, in-depth knowledge like the Sagittarians or the particularly the Virgos, um, but they'll certainly be able to enlighten you and uh, quite humorously too sometimes. So they're just fun loving people to be around. Now with Mars moving into Gemini, what this means is you want to be um, Make sure that you have everything set. You want to edit your words. That's what I'm trying to say. You want to edit your words before you say them. Because Mars can make us, it speeds everything up and gives us the motivation to get out there and do things. And, you know, from a Gemini point of view, speaking, thinking, you're likely to just blurt something out. Now, don't forget that Mars has two sides to it as well. And one side is assertive. And the other side is it can be aggressive. So um, you want to make sure that you're not just blurting something out and being somewhat uh, irritable uh, to the wrong people. You know, like don't shoot the messenger type thing is one thing. The other thing is, of course, the people that we spend most of our time with are the people that we feel that we can perhaps push the envelope a little bit on. So. You want to just keep yourself in check there. Now, the other movement that's happening this week is the sun. So that's on the 22nd, and it's moving into Cancer. Um, the nice, nurturing, fuzzy-wuzzy side of Cancer. Well, that's one side of Cancer. And let's not forget that everything has a balance. You know, it's like um, every negative does have a drawback. Uh, so um, keep that in mind. Of course, the other side of uh, cancer is that, you know, it can be um, demanding as well. I mean, I, I always say, you know, cancer people will give you just about anything. They love to give, they love to nurture, but don't ever think it's for nothing. They don't give away freely. So, and, and rightly so, too, because you need to keep the scales of of balance and, um, as I call it, reciprocation of balance there. So this is something that you need to just be a little bit aware of over this next 30-day um, period that, you know, if somebody gives you something, you want to think, okay, well, that's lovely. Thank you very much. How can I return the favor? Uh, if you give something to someone, um, you know, just maybe you want to think, well, okay, I give it with no expectation of anything returned. And if you do have something returned, well, that's a bonus, isn't it? So uh, there's some things to think about for this week. Um, great things are happening. We're in the middle of uh, three eclipses at the start of the month. We On the 1st of June, we had an eclipse in... Um, Gemini and then we just had last week on the 15th a lunar full moon eclipse in Sagittarius great to get things you know rocking and rolling and coming up in another week and a half we have in Cancer um, a lunar eclipse um, not a, a, a not a lunar I'm sorry a solar eclipse a new moon eclipse in Cancer so, of course, when they're in the size, it means something different to everybody because it sits in a different solar house for everybody, So, which means it affects a different area of your life. But basically, um, what's great about eclipses is that it really shifts the energy. So if something isn't quite working, then it can break it down so you can look at it and build it up. It sort of takes things out of your hands somewhat. It can be challenging, yes. At the same time, it can be supportive. So, um, and let's face it, life is full of situations that challenge and support us, and that's how we grow, okay? You have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.